The following video will step through the process for using the iPad Mobile Inspections menu. This menu is used to assign units to be inspected, to remove or edit incomplete inspections on the iPad, and can generate reports and work orders for completed inspections. To access the iPad Mobile Inspection screen, navigate to the Applicant menu and select the menu item labeled Unit Inspection Mobile. In the following screen, you will be given a list of unassigned inspections. We can navigate to the Assign tab, which will show us any inspections currently on the iPad. By selecting the Completed tab, we can see any inspections that were marked as completed and synced from the iPad. Returning to the Unassigned tab, we can add a single unit to be inspected by selecting Add. In the following screen, we can choose to filter by program or project, or we can search from all programs. We can also select to filter results by tenant name, landlord name, or unit address and apartment number. I have to look for the street there. You can also add a group of units by selecting Add Group, the filter options for inspection reports will be displayed. You can select a program or project, or like the previous option, you can choose to search from all programs. When you use the filter options below, you can filter based on various inspection dates such as annual inspection due by, last annual inspection, and last inspection date, appointment date, or you can choose to unselect filter units by date range and you'll get all the units in your selected program and project. When you have your desired filter criteria set and you're ready to get a list of units, select schedule appointments. In the next screen, you can set the inspection type, inspection appointment date and time, and next inspection dates. When ready, select the units you want to inspect, and then click Save Changes and Add Selected to Mobile to add your selected units to your unassigned. Then you will be returned to the inspection report screen and here you can just hit close and there are the two units we added. With your pending inspections in the unassigned tab, we can select them and use the edit button to assign the inspector. Please note that units will only show on the iPad if you are logged in as the inspector assigned here. You can also edit the inspection type and appointment dates and time in this screen. Once you are finished making your changes, you can hit save, select the units you want to inspect, and then choose move to assigned. Once a unit is moved to the Assign tab, they will show up on the iPad when logged in as the appropriate inspector after syncing the iPad. To remove assigned inspections, you can move inspections back to the Unassigned tab by selecting them and clicking Move to Unassigned. Then you can go back into the Unassigned tab and edit the inspector and the inspection form and inspection appointment if desired, or if you simply want to delete the inspection and not follow through with it, you can select the item in unassigned and hit delete. Please note that any assigned inspections must first be moved to unassigned before they can be changed. After you complete an inspection on the iPad and sync, 
the inspection disappears from the iPad screen and will be automatically downloaded the next time you select the completed tab in iPad Mobile Inspections. Also, if you marked items as requiring a work order, it will automatically generate a work order when it downloads the inspection. To view the work order, simply click on the work order number in the list to get the incomplete work order form. From the completed tab, we can also select inspection history to look at the inspections performed on that particular unit. If you select your completed inspection, which should usually be the most recent in the list, you can view the inspection results and select images to view the photos and the inspection results report. Returning to the completed tab, you can also run reports and letters by choosing the appropriate menu option. In the Reports tab, simply choose the report you're looking to run and hit Continue. To generate inspection letters, select the desired letter in the list and then select the inspection results you'd like to view in the letter.